We've just poured the iron filing, salt, and sand mixture onto a piece of filter paper. This is part B because it contains all the important elements of our experiment. Here we're taking the magnet and running it through the mixture of the iron filings and the salt and the sand. And the magnet is picking up the little pieces of iron filings. There they are and we put it on a paper towel. Now we've mixed up the salt, the rest of the salt and sand mixture that's left and poured water through it and we're pulling the filter paper out of the funnel spreading on the paper towel to dry. We've collected the filtrate in the test tube. And what we're going to do is heat up the filtrate or a teaspoonful of the filtrate in a tablespoon so that we can see the crystals of salt that are left after we evaporate the water out of it. flame is a little bit hot. A little bit faster method than using a dish. Here you see the crystals of sodium chloride that have formed the salt that was in the water. We turned our flame off and now we're going to add some silver nitrate droplets to the rest of the filtrate in order to test for chloride ion. And when the silver nitrate droplets combine with the sodium chloride that's in the filtrate, it turns into silver chloride, which is an insoluble precipitate. And you can see the white precipitate that's formed on the top of the solution there. So we've tested for chloride, and we've shown that chloride exists in the filtrate.